Welcome to Trippy Commentaries and our WWE Top 10 Wrestlers. I'm RJ, joined by Retro Brett. Yo, yo. And C Dub. What's going on, guys? We have made our top 10 list each individually and compiled them into one official list for you guys so you will know our official rankings heading into Battleground and a huge pay-per-view upcoming, SummerSlam. Big pay-per-view that we look forward to each and every year. Let's get right into it, guys. There's a lot of wrestlers we have to talk about. Um, I do want to give an honorable mention to the Usos. I know that, uh, of course, they're both extremely impressive fighters, but being that they don't do a ton of singles competitions and they're, you know, tag team champs right now, it's kind of hard for us to put them in the top 10. Uh, anybody else you want to give a quick honorable mention to, C Dub? Yeah, I've, uh, I've got uh, Kofi Kingston down here as an honorable mention. He's really been stepping up his game here lately and trying to break out. Luke Harper is another guy who I got to give an honorable mention. While he is also in tag team competition, uh, he really stands out as a very unique uh, big guy, as a giant. Uh, I think he's got a really bright future in the company. And another honorable mention, too, Brock Lesnar. Because, I mean, let's face it, guys, he conquered the streak at WrestleMania. Uh, it's only a matter of time before we see him back on WWE TV. Retro Brett, do you have any honorable mentions tonight before we jump into the top ten? Yes, I want to give honorable mentions to... Bo Dallas and Adam Rose because we haven't seen a whole lot of them lately and that's a good thing so they get an honorable mention from me <laughs> oh man that's the uh, only capacity that they will be mentioned on our top 10 list that's for sure also we will mention CM Punk we'd be remiss if we do not at least mention him here I know he, he's technically retired I guess at this point or at least that's what he says uh, we just made a video letting you guys know what we think of his future, his immediate future, and if he'll ever return to the WWE. Here's a link right here, so click on that if you guys want to know, of course, what we think will happen there. We'll mention him, but he does not make our top 10, even though he could take out any one of these guys in a one-on-one -on -one competition any day of the week, provided he's still uh, keeping up in shape, which I'm pretty sure he oh, is. Yes. His, uh, his curricular I guess, wife. AJ Lee, she's sure in good shape, that's for sure. Uh, let's start this bitch off. We will start, of course, with number 10, and it's going to be Cesaro. Now, I don't totally agree with this because he's lost two matches on Monday Night Raw, uh, Raw in a row to Kofi Kingston, but he does make it here at number 10, Corey. Yeah, you know, uh, I had Cesaro ranked a little bit higher than number 10, uh, I don't think the two losses recently here on Raw to Kofi Kingston are going to be much of a setback for him at all. Cesaro is one of the brightest young stars, of course, currently under the tutelage of Paul Heyman. Uh, we're going to look, coming into Battleground, Cesaro is in this big Intercontinental title battle royal, and I, for one, look for him to capture that Intercontinental title and come out of Battleground as the champion and, of course, keep climbing the ranks in the WWE. Yeah, I actually had him as number six coming into the night, but after he lost another match to Kofi Kingston, who, let's be honest, is really, I mean, we did give him an honorable mention, but he's a long way from making this list, the top ten at least. So that's kind of unacceptable, but I think we all have him as our favorite heading into this Intercontinental uh, matchup Definitely. with all the WWE superstars. Uh, moving on to number nine is going to be Former Shield member Dean Ambrose, C Dub. Do you think he deserves to be in the top ten? Oh, there's no doubt about it. Dean Ambrose is another one of these young guys uh, who, who's really starting to make uh, an impact and break out on his own. Of course, since the split of the Shield, uh, I had Ambrose at number six. Uh, I know you guys. Uh, there was actually a little bit of controversy there for you, RJ. He didn't make your list, but he did get enough votes from the panel uh, in high enough place to make the list here at number nine. Uh, you know, right now we're seeing Dean Ambrose sort of uh, as a, a, uh, a countermeasure to Seth Rollins and the money in the bank. Retro, do you think uh, ultimately Ambrose can stop uh, Seth Rollins, another guy who's going to be here on our list? 
Uh, yes, I believe so. Um, I want to say I had Dean Ambrose at number 10. I think he's still riding the wave of one of the most popular trios in WWE history being The Shield. He's still riding that popularity and obviously he's feuding with uh, Seth Rollins, which is a great singles competitor as well. But he needs, I've said it before, he needs to get his offense under control a little bit to uh, be effective against Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is very calculated and knows what he's doing and Ambrose is kind of like, do whatever. Yeah. Whatever comes to mind. One thing I incorporate into my rankings is finishers. I think if you have a strong finisher, that gives you an added bonus when it comes to top 10 rankings. And Dean Ambrose with the Dirty Deeds, that's a, a pretty sick finisher. And uh, he's definitely going to climb up the ranks. There's no doubt about it. You can see him at a higher position next time we convene to do our top 10. Uh, probably sometime after SummerSlam. Uh, moving on to number 8. Corey, who do you got? Well, this was a bit of a controversial pick this week, but uh, number eight, due to the votes, the high placement on the list by me of him at number five, we have Daniel Bryan, former WWE champion. He's currently sidelined, guys, and that, I know, caused a lot of uh, controversy with him making the list here tonight. But the fact of the matter is to me, guys, previous to this injury, Daniel Bryan was the centerpiece of this company uh, for a good eight, ten months. I mean, the whole uh, Daniel Bryan versus the authority, that was the main, uh, the, the show on the, uh, or the storyline on the card that really took up the most time. And uh, like it or not, I think, you know, eventually once Daniel Bryan does come back, he's going to be right back there in that top, uh, top three, top five, and going to be right back in the title hunt. Um, Retro Brett, what are your thoughts as far as Daniel Bryan making the list here? Well, I definitely agree with you that when he comes back, he will be right back in the full in the mix of things. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not quite sure he deserves to be number nine or even on this list at all. But like Corey said, uh, he fought pretty hard for him, so we put him on the list because we respect Corey. Absolutely, Corey is extremely knowledgeable, and Corey thinks that. He definitely deserves to be on this list. I got to say, if he's healthy, much like we mentioned with CM Punk, yeah. he could be the number one guy. In fact, even though Cena is the champ right now, I put an asterisk next to his name because the real champ is Daniel Bryan. It's just a matter of when can he get healthy so he can go ahead and win it back. Fulfill his, uh, his destiny. Uh, I really hope to see that soon. I know we got... A bit of some bad news when he said he had a possible setback I'm here. I've got some bad news. <laughs> yeah, bad news for Bad News Barrett as well, who's not making the top 10 because of injury himself. But uh, yeah, so Daniel Bryan, hopefully he can get back as soon as possible. Even when he's not fighting, he still gets probably the biggest reaction around. So we need him back ASAP. That said, he said there's a chance of more surgery, so it's going to be a while. Uh, moving on to numero 7. Rusev, he is going to defend his undefeated streak, possibly against Jack Swagger, makes it to number seven on the list, C-Dub. Yeah, Rusev is a guy who, uh, you know, a bit of a newcomer here, uh, but he has been booked super strong. He's been absolutely destroying the competition. We've seen guys like Big E and uh, Rob Van Dam, amongst others, take on Big E and, of course, or on uh, Rusev and, of course, lose. Uh, Jack Swagger is the next in line. I don't see him stopping Rusev. They're building Rusev up to where I believe this time next year uh, they're going to have, if not sooner, uh, they're going to have Rusev in the, in the picture for a major title in the company. What do you think about that, RJ? Hey, I'm all for Rusev's one of my favorite wrestlers right now. I can't wait till he gets to climb up the ranks and fights John Cena. Some of these guys that are going to definitely give him a run for his money. But as of right now, he's undefeated. As much as I don't like him to go against some of these jobbers, I wouldn't mind them building up a Goldberg-esque undefeated streak. That would be pretty sick. We'll definitely have to see how far Rusev can climb this uh, list and how long he can keep his undefeated streak alive. I wouldn't mind seeing him kick the shit out of Bo Dallas or Adam Rose. Yeah, that's for sure. I'm sure that'll happen. Look for a Bo Dallas versus Rusev matchup at some point. 
Uh, Randy Orton comes in at number six. I know there's not too much to say about Randy Orton. We all know him well. Pretty good fighter. Still doing the same uh, persona there. I think for his sake he should change it up. Perhaps get a little bit more exciting on the mic. He's been doing the same damn thing. Same bit for and, uh, years. Yeah, I mean, he said, you know, he's the viper, he's this, that, and the other, but he needs to improve despite his uh, fighting paralysis. He, still, he does come at number six, respectable, but uh, I, he might be on the decline, guys. Let's be real. Uh, Sheamus is at number five. This guy seems to never lose. I, I thought he was really impressive in that Money in the Bank matchup there. Of course, the, the latter matchup for the championship. And, uh, you know, if they could just get him more involved with the storyline... He could definitely cause some damage. What did you think about the number five ranking for Sheamus, Corey, as we enter our top five fighters? Uh, well, I think that's, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, personally, uh, with number six, Orton, I mean, there's a guy I didn't even have on my list. Um, but, however, you know, again, he did make uh, high rankings on your and Retro Brett's list, thus bringing his inclusion into the compiled list. Sheamus is a guy who I, had at, who I had at number nine. I know you guys had him a little bit higher. Um, you know, he is rock solid in the mid card, the upper mid card as the U.S. champion. He is a former WWE champion, and he can be inserted into the main event at any time. So uh, I feel like number five right there, right in the middle, is a pretty, uh, pretty appropriate placement for Sheamus. Yeah, it is. He's a beast, and he can beat anybody at any time. He's one of those guys. That broad kick well, is devastating. Irish. Um, Retro Brett, here's a guy I really want to ask you about. Seth Rollins. He comes in at number four on our list. That might even be, you know, you, you can argue he deserves to be higher at this point. He's been truly impressive lately, and he's the holder of the Money in the Bank uh, suitcase there, the contract that lets him get a chance for the championship any time of his choosing on the rise. That is the main reason I put him at number two, actually is because he is so such a dangerous person right now because he can uh, choose when and where and how he wants to um, have a championship match. Uh, he can blindside someone like he did Cena tonight, and he almost cashed in, but uh, if it weren't, weren't for one Dean Ambrose, he would have. <laughs> yes, once but, again. Uh, he's that along with his great wrestling ability... And he's being backed heavily by the authority, makes him an extremely dangerous and up, up and coming performer. Corey, what's your opinion of uh, Seth Rollins at this time here, summer 2014? Well, uh, he came in here on our compiled list at number four, and that's exactly where I had him on my list. Uh, you know, Seth Rollins is one of these guys breaking out of the shield here, along with Ambrose and Reigns, who uh, is looking to make a big impact. This year and next year, uh, of course, Seth Rollins being the holder of the Money in the Bank briefcase and the title shot, uh, it definitely puts him as a, a, a pretty much going forward and, uh, you know, until he either successfully or unsuccessfully cashes it in. To me, that almost makes him an automatic top five here uh, in my book, guys. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> he, he could be number one here, guys. He, there's a chance that next time we get together to do this list, he could be number one. Could That's be. crazy. And uh, props to Retro Brad Corey. I mean, he, of course, we were all big fans of The Shield. He constantly was bringing up Seth Rollins. So, yeah. And uh, you're right, Retro. This guy could be possibly at a John Cena status one day. Top three guys, we have made it. Bray Wyatt. This guy is getting huge reactions. He's a beast. Another guy who could be a potential number one very soon, C-Dub. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he was, uh, on my rankings, he was number one. I feel like he is uh, pound, pound for pound all around. Uh, if you take the in-ring, the entertainment, uh, the look, the, uh, I mean, everything. Bray Wyatt is the total package. This guy, to me, he is the future of the company as far as being a heel. We, uh, we see him right now locked in a feud with Chris Jericho which I think is going to do uh, good things for both of them. It's going to get Bray Wyatt over, taken as a, uh, you know, as a serious contender for the title, as well as uh, you know, something special for Jericho, who's a guy who's a veteran and a little bit later in his career. Uh, I know Bray Wyatt, RJ, for you, came in at number four, and Retro Brett, 
showing uh, Bray Wyatt no love here. Put him <laughs> at number six. Well, what can I say? Um, he captured me. He kept me captive <laughs> for a week. Yes, make sure you guys watch this week's episode of WWE Raw Reactions, where uh, we explain how Retro Brett escaped from the Wyatt Complex. And, uh, yeah, so he comes in at number three. I got to say, uh, you know, like we said, he could be even higher. He does need to win. He needs to get a big-time victory, possibly a championship uh, chance. I think he could take out Chris Jericho to vault him up, and uh, we definitely got to give an honorable mention to Chris Jericho, who, of course, just came back. He could be on this list next time as well, and he probably should be on the list, but I did not have him on. C-Dub and Retro Brett did include uh, include Y2J on their top 10 lists. Number two, this is a big one, guys. Who's the number two guy? Is it John Cena, possibly? Nope. It's someone else. Corey, who is it? Number two this week in our compiled rankings of the WWE top 10 is Roman Reigns. This guy, uh, arguably more so than Seth Rollins, the current Money in the Bank holder, has really broken out on his own and uh, got the crowd behind him fully in his corner. I mean, the guy gets great reactions every week, week in, week out. He's, uh, to me, you know, Roman Reigns is a guy who has everything that it takes to be a guy in the future like The Rock. I mean, we've said it before, of course, The Rock is uh, family to Roman Reigns. But I feel like Roman Reigns is a guy who could not only be the biggest star in the company, but could even possibly go on to be, uh, you know, a star in Hollywood or TV or anything else that he does. Uh, the guy's just a natural. He basically takes his uh, his own personality and ramps it up to 11. It comes out naturally. It's not forced. And I think the crowd really appreciates that and has got behind him. I fully expect Roman Reigns here at number two in our rankings uh, to kind of hang out around this top three, top four for the next uh, foreseeable future, really. Yeah, he was number one on my list. I have him as the number one guy. Of course, I'm sure you guys probably have figured out who's number one. We'll say that in a second. But as far as Roman Reigns is concerned, he's been destroying everybody. He can do the Superman punch at will, knocks out everybody, and in one shot you have Kane trying to start a beef. Yeah, I mean, Roman Reigns laughs at that. He, he knocks him out. Roman Reigns has been saving Cena as of late. And uh, this guy, it's only a matter of time. He's clearly a, a force to be reckoned with, Retro Brett. Yes, well, he's got a couple of devastating offensive maneuvers, the Superman punch. No one's ever seen anything like that. And obviously, a lot of people do the spear, but that's another um, devastating maneuver. Oh, yeah. I wish he would bring back the powerbomb when he did that in the shield, the triple or the double powerbomb. I don't know, whatever. They, I forgot what they called it, but... Oh yeah, the, yeah, I know what you mean for sure. Hey, man, you can't see uh can't see Roman Reigns declining anytime soon. He is rapidly climbing to championship status. I really hope that he claims the championship in this upcoming battleground event where he'll be fighting against John Cena, who I will say right now is our number 1 guy. He is the champ. He'll also be going against Randy Orton and Kane who we should note, Retro Brett and Corey really don't even think those guys should be on the top 10. I mean, I know you have Randy Orton in your top 10, but, you know, other than that, he, geez, he's really, it's hard to make a case for him. But that said, number one overall, C Dub, we had to give it to Cena. Yeah, you know, uh, I, it, I, 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 on my list, I kind of struggled between Roman Reigns and John Cena. At number two and three, of course, I had Bray Wyatt at number one. I ultimately deferred to the fact that John Cena is the champion right now. He is the centerpiece uh, who is being featured on the show. Uh, to me, guys, you know, I, I know Retro Bray, you're a huge Cena fan, uh, probably more than either one of us. Uh, John Cena, like we've said, is a guy who has came back into the main event title scene, basically Due to the uh, the injury of Daniel Bryan, who was the champ, uh, I feel like this works. But at the same time, uh, as we talked about in our raw reactions, John Cena, him having the title for too long, could be dangerous for the company. Uh, I feel like one of these guys, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, could even be Dean Ambrose, uh, Daniel Bryan, Bray Wyatt. One of these guys is going to end up coming through and dethroning Cena. It's just a matter of time. 
course, at Battleground, we see Orton, Kane, and Roman Reigns with the chance. Uh, Retro Brett, what can you tell us as far, uh, I mean, obviously you're pleased as a Cena fan with John Cena at number one this uh, this month for the month of July in our top ten. Well, there's not really much I can say about Cena that I haven't said before. I mean, he's John Cena. Enough said. Hey, John Cena is the number one. It will not be the last time. Thank you guys for joining us for our top ten wrestlers in the WWE. Once again, Cesaro 10, Dean Ambrose 9. Daniel Bryan, 8. Rusev, 7. Randy Orton coming in at 6. Sheamus, 5. Seth Rollins on the come up at 4. Bray Wyatt, number 3. Roman Reigns, number 2. John Cena, for the time being, is number 1. I'm RJ for Retro Brett. Have a good night. Corey, thank you for dropping the knowledge. Take us out. Well, it's nothing. Always a pleasure, guys. Stay tuned. Peace out.